Yo, what's up, X here? So, this is gonna be part two of the Water Protector at Godspeed. And if you haven't seen part one, go check that out. And yeah, before the video gets started, I'm gonna just quickly recap what happened in the last part. So, on the last part, we basically went over how Deku got his quirk, how he grew up as Bakugo's rival, and I went into the sludge villain incident with Deku meeting All Might, but not actually getting one for all, and the 10 month training arc with Deku and Bakugo. But with that out of the way, let's get into the next part of what if Deku had Godspeed? Okay, so the story starts off right where I left off. After completing the 10 month training arc and with his new upgrades and some abilities, and that's basically it. So I'm just gonna time skip to the day of the entrance exam. And yeah, so so Deku wakes up and gets ready for the exam. And before he leaves, Inko tells him how proud she is of him for getting this far. Deku smiles and thanks her, and he goes off to meet up with Bakugo. This is when he sees Bakugo, and Bakugo says, Hurry up, Deku, or we'll be late. Deku then says, Oh, yeah, sure. They walk off to the exam and they start talking about what kind of heroes they want to be. Deku asks Bakugo, What kind of hero do you want to be? Bakugo looks at him and says, I want to become the greatest hero. Somebody like All Might that can defeat anybody in his way and strike fear into villains who will hear my name. Deku then looks up at the sky and says, I want to be a hero who saves everybody with a smile and makes people feel safe. That's when Bakugo says, oh yeah, well, I'm going to be number one. And Izuku flashes lightning in his eyes and says, is that so? Bakugo grins and lets off some explosions. Then they laugh and continue walking. Over the years, Bakugo developed a rivalry and like a best friend relationship with Deku since he's more confident. Deku's not going to be backing down from challenges, and he isn't afraid to start one either. <laughs> okay, so then they start walking up to Yue, and that's when suddenly Deku trips, and he's about to fall when a girl touches him and makes him float. Bakugo sees this and starts laughing and tells Deku he'll see him inside. Deku then thanks the girl and asks for her name. She says, oh, my name is Uraraka. She then says, what's your name? And Deku says, oh, my name's Izuku, and says... And then she says, oh, I like it. They start talking for a bit, and she says, isn't it crazy how this test determines the rest of our lives? And Deku smiles and says, yeah, kind of nerve-wracking. But I have faith I'll pass. But I have faith I'll pass. And after that, they wish each other good luck. And they go off on their own. Deku sits by Bakugo, and he smirks and says, she was kind of cute. Did you get her number? Deku then gets flushed and says, um, um, and Bakugo laughs. As this is happening, President Mike was explaining things, and Ida's annoying ass gets up and does his usual bitching and says that, did Yue make a mistake? And then he calls out Deku and Bakugo for talking. And right after he says that, Bakugo gets up and left up, lets off an explosion and says, what was that? Ida then says, please be quiet, and he's dis you're disturbing people. Bakugo then is about to say something else, and Deku grabs Bakugo's shoulder and says, Don't worry about it. He's not worth it. Let's just get this exam over with. So, they sit down, and Deku apologizes to President Mike. Then they take the written exam, and after that, they get like 10 points to 20 points higher than their usual selves. But other than that, nothing much really changes. After that, Deku goes to the where the combat portion takes place. Deku's getting ready, stretching, and as he sees Uraraka, he sees her there, and he notices that she looks kind of nervous, and he tries to walk up to her, and right as he does that, Deku gets grabbed on the shoulder, and he looks up, at, and Ida looks up at Deku and says, leave her alone, she looks like she's trying to concentrate, and that if he's going to be a problem child to just leave, UA doesn't need that type of behavior here. Then Deku lets off some lightning and tells him to let go. And to take his hand off or he'll make him do it. And then he says, I didn't do anything earlier because you were right. I was talking instead of paying attention. But if you're going to butt into my business that doesn't concern you, then I'll say something. Now let go. After Iri hears this, he tries to hit Deku. But Deku activates Godspeed and he appears right behind him and says, try to attack me again and it won't go well for you. Ida then looks behind him and sees Deku's eyes white with blue lightning coming off of them. Then Deku powers down and walks towards Uraraka. He taps her on the shoulder, which freaks her out a little bit. And then he asks, hey, you nervous? She says, yeah, I'm scared I won't pass. 
Deku looks at her and she says, I'm sure you'll pass. Calm your nerves. Breathe. Take some breaths. Breathe in and breathe out slowly. Uraraka does this and Deku asks, better? She looks at him and says, better. Thank you. He then once again tells her what good luck and goes to the front of the cup. Goes to the front. My bad that I keep messing up. She's, you know, I'm kind of off. But, yeah. And then he goes up to the front and a couple seconds go by and then President Mike says, there's no countdown in a real ring, you know, all, all that bullshit. But, and as he says that, the gate opens. And as soon as the gate opens, Deku was gone. He left an after image that didn't move for a second. Ida saw it and wondered, why didn't he leave? He turned back around and he saw blue lightning moving extremely fast, blitzing robots and destroying every single robot in his path, and trying to get as many points as possible, not caring how many points they're worth. After a couple of minutes... Deku destroyed about 200 robots and had over 400 points since, you know, some robots are worth 1 point, 2, and 3. So it makes sense, you know, what if he destroyed 200, 2 points, you know? Anyways, so after that, he sees a bunch of people running away from a giant robot. And he remembers it isn't worth anything, so he was just going to go find other robots. When suddenly he hears Uraraka yelling, help! He saw her and about to get crushed by a robot and Deku went max speed used a breathing technique as he flashed behind the robot, sending it flying like when Deku used one for all. Then before Uraraka noticed, Deku took the rubble off of her leg and took her to safety and asked, Hey, are you alright? Right as she said that the robot fell to the ground, and she, she was shocked. She looked at it and was like amazed. She says, Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, Izuku. Then she, he smiles at her and she gets flustered. Deku says, he asks if she's hurt, and she says, no, 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 she's, I'm fine. She tries to walk, and she can't, and Deku catches her and says, don't worry, I'll take you to recovery, girl. He takes her and says goodbye, and then he hopes she passed, and goes home after that. He calls Bakugo and asks him how many robots he destroyed, and Bakugo confidently says, 189, what about you? Deku then grins and says, at least 200, and I also took down the zero pointer. Bakugo gets mad and says, don't get cocky, I'll beat you next time. After this, about a week goes by and Deku trains during that week and hangs out with Bakugo. After, during Bakugo that week and he hangs out with Bakugo. The letter finally arrives and Deku opens it and it's All Might telling him that he got in and how he got the top score ever recorded. And actually he beat his own and welcomes him into UA and then says, you also got rescue points for saving that girl the way you did. You got 80 rescue points. So in total, you got 430 points. I'm just going to say that, like, he got, like, 400. He got, like, 300 points from all the robots. And then he got, like, plus 80. So let's just say he got 350 plus the 80. So and I'm going to say 80 just because he did it flawlessly, unlike in the original canon where I think they gave him 60. Wait, I don't know how many they gave him, but they gave him a lot. But he barely, all he did was destroy the robot and save her but he didn't do a great job at it so i'm just gonna say that they give him 80 in this one and he listens to the rest of it and after he finishes it he gets really excited and thinks he finally did it after years of hard work it fi it's finally paying off then he celebrates with his mom and after that the first day of school comes around and Deku gets ready for school and that's where i'm gonna leave it off hopefully this video is long enough eight minutes and 50 seconds i could keep going Mm. Should I keep going? Uh, fuck it. I'll keep going. I'll keep going. I'll keep going. This is for you. That I, I forgot what your name was, but Zeus something something. He would have told me to make another part. So this, this this extra portion is just for you if you're even watching this. <laughs> okay. So Deku walks off and. That's when he sees Baku and he meets up with him and they walk to school and as they're arriving to UA, they both get there and they sit down and Bakugo puts his feet up on the desk and that's when Ida comes in rushing and says, hey, get your feet off the desk and Bakugo looks at him and says, did your school put a stick up your ass or something or were you born with it? That's when Deku smiles and walks up and he says, he tells Ida to just like leave Bakugo alone, you know. Just leave him alone. Like, he's not as bad as he may seem. And that's when Ida gets, like, mad. He looks at him. He's like, you're the problem child. 
Deku says, I'm sorry about that. Like, he apologizes a bit. And Ida looks at him and says, oh, well, he just forgives him. And then he says, did you realize that there was an extra part of the exam? And Deku looks at him and goes, no, not really. I mean, I just saved the girl because it's the right thing to do. You know, if I'm going to become a hero, then I have to be a hero now instead of later. Ida gets shocked by this and says, yeah, you're greater, you're a superior student to me. He does that usual thing and... That's when Uraraka comes up and she's like, hey, I recognize that hair anywhere, you know? I'm going to say that in this one, Deku's hair isn't black with green. Uh, what, what what should I make him look like? Mm, I don't like the black and green hair. Like, I do, but then again, I don't. Like, I feel like it kind of makes him look a little eh, you know? I'm going to say that his hair is black and blonde? No, 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 no. It's just lightning blue. I'm going to say that his hair is just black. Just because I don't like the green. But yeah, his hair is going to be black. And she's like, I recognize that black hair anywhere. Or something like that, right? And he turns around. They talk for a little bit. And that's when Aizawa gets up. And he says, it took you guys eight seconds to get ready. This will not like pass. Like, Like, if you're here to make friends, then you should just leave now. And that's when he tells them to head outside because there's going to be an, uh, a test. And that's when they ask, like, aren't we going to the orientation? And he's like, in this hero world, they have no time for orientations. We, I can leave my class however I want. And he basically just starts telling them to get dressed. And that's when Deku and Baku go get up and they just start heading to the locker rooms to go get dressed. That's when Aizawa says, you guys should be more like those two and not ask any questions and just go. That's when everybody follows and they all get dressed. And in the locker room, that's when Kirishima sees Deku changing. And he's like, whoa, dude, you are freaking ripped. He's like, what did you do? And Deku just looks at him and smiles and says, oh, this? He's like, I just trained extremely hard for ever since I got my quirk. And then he looks at Bakugo and says, wow, you're you're ripped too. But you're just bigger than him. And Bakugo says, of course, I'm stronger than him too. That's when Deku laughs and shoots off a little bit of lightning and Baku lets off an explosion and they look at each other. And then everybody else thinks they're about to fight when Baku go and, and Deku just laugh and they walk out and they're like, I'll beat you in this test, nerd. And Deku just looks at Baku and says, I'd like to see you try. That's when they get up to the test and Aizawa looks at Deku and says, Deku, throw the ball. You got the highest test score. And that's when Deku says, oh, really? And Aizawa explains that he can only be in that tiny little circle. Deku's like, ah, fuck. I don't know if I could do that well in this. So he takes back his arm and throws electricity and throws it as fast and as hard as he can. And I'm going to say, what did Baku go get? He got like 700 meters or something like that. I'm going to say Deku gets... 2,000. Fuck it. I'm gonna say he gets 2,000 meters. He could have gotten farther if he would have like had like a running start. But he got 2,000 meters. That's when everybody's shocked. They're like, what? That's so awesome. Like, we get to use our quirks. And Aizawa looks at them and says, oh, it's awesome. You think it's awesome? How about this? The lowest scoring person here will get expelled from UA. That's when everybody's like, that's not fair. And Aizawa looks at them and says, is it fair? Are natural disasters fair? Or villains that want to destroy cities fair? Is that fair? They all be quiet. And then he says, let's get started. That's when Deku, you know, that's when Deku does all the other tests. And I'm going to say that he gets the best score in the entire class. Except for everything except for the ball throw. Because, you know, he's, you know, he's not... Uraraka, so yeah, so he gets the top score, and Bakugo comes in at second. Since he found new uses for his quirk, and he got even stronger. I'm gonna say Bakugo gets a gets higher than Deku just because he's stronger. I'm gonna say he gets no, I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna say he got like one thousand nine hundred something meters, and yeah. And that's when Aizawa looks at the papers and everybody's just shocked at what Deku's doing. I mean, he did the long jump and he cleared that by way too much. 
the side to side jumps he uses super speed and completely blitzed i mean nobody saw it looked like he was standing still the whole time and for the crushing thing he and bakugo destroyed that thing like they broke it from how strong they are and after that aizawa puts up the scores and i'm gonna get rid of me uh mineta since i don't really like that dude i don't like him at all and he looks at Mineta and he's like, well, I meant what I said. And he basically expels Mineta and he tells him, get your stuff. You're leaving now. You're not worthy of becoming a hero. That's when everybody's like, oh, like that's not fair. Like, da, da, da. And he's like, I don't want to hear it unless you, unless you guys want to get expelled too. Then you better be quiet. And yeah, they just basically go home after that. And that's where I'm going to leave it off now. That's where I'm comfortable, you know, solid 16 minutes, you know. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, then, you know, leave a like, you know, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next part. And about, like, any background noise, if there was any background noise, like, I'd like to apologize for that, you know, I'm not in control of that. But, yeah, see you guys in the next part. Peace.